Hi, this is Eric Brooking again from Brooking Vineyards. Today I thought on the vlog I'd like to talk a little bit about uh, my trellising system. I had some questions about uh, how I do that and why. Um, you can see over here, this is my end post and it's set at an angle. And all that's doing is, is just holding those lines in place. Uh, it's also anchored into the ground with an earth anchor and a couple of wires to come up and stabilize everything. The first post, these are all six inch diameter posts. Uh, I like to use uh, six inch diameter, 10 feet long, buried four feet in the ground. This is the earth anchor that uh, goes down about four feet into the ground, and has a screw auger type head to uh, hold it in the dirt. And then you can actually tension the wires to hold the end post in place. I notch the end post just slightly, or you can staple or nail them to hold the wire on. Because this vineyard is straight across the street from our house, uh, we decided to go ahead and put in uh, posts, uh, five inch posts instead of the metal stakes. My wiring system is a little different than most. A water wire that's holding the actual water line, then the cordon wire, which is holding the main part of the uh, the actual vine on the spur prune vines, uh, the cordon is actually holding the major part with the spurs. Um, but then what's really unique here is that we go with a, a T-bar system. So above the cordon or the fruiting wire, we have two wires that are about eight inches apart. We go up a little more and have two more wires. These guys are about a foot apart. And then above that, two more wires that are about 18, 18 inches apart. Um, the reason for this is that once the shoots start growing, uh, their little tendrils will reach out and grab the wires. So adjusting wires up and down, uh, which is the normal practice, is very difficult. You either have to come through and very time consumingly, you know, unwrap the tendrils or cut them loose. Um, and I prefer not to do that. Uh, if you don't move the wires, then you're always using a lot of green tape to tie the shoots in place. Um, here, what, uh, what happens is that because you have two wires narrow, two wires a little wider, and then two more really wide, uh, the shoots tend to fall in the middle. And it's a very easy thing to do to actually push the shoots into the middle of the trellising system. Their tendrils grab hold, they hold on, they don't need any green tape or very, very little. And it just makes for a very easy system. You need to have some way to tighten your wires up. Uh, I'm using, for the uh, fruiting wire, the cordon, I use 12 gauge and then uh, 14 gauge for all the lighter wires, but you need a way to tension them. You need to put at least 100 pounds, if not 200 pounds, uh, into them, keep them tight. Uh, and each year, the heat, cooling and heating, loosens those wires, so you need to come in and re-tighten them. Here's the little guy that actually tightens up, and you can uh, buy those at your uh, local vineyard supply. Grangetto's has them uh, here locally. But with that, you can tighten the wires each year. My watering system, I just bring a, a riser up. So I'll run the, the water underground all alongside the, the grapes, all the lines. And then I just pop up a riser, put a pressure regulator in, and then a little valve so I can shut things off if I do get a leak or something like that. And then it ties on to the water wire, which is right under the... Uh, fruiting wire. People ask me all the time, uh, why don't you just tie the water line right on to the fruiting wire? And the reason is, is that when you're actually in here pruning, uh, you end up cutting the water line by accident. Um, so it's not a good idea. Here you can see the crossbars on the lower pair, middle pair, and then the upper pair. The middle wire that you see on this in between the two uppers was actually an earlier trellising system. It's not necessary. The uh, earlier system just used above the cordon, it just used two wires 
and then a single wire across the top. The problem was, like I had told you before, was that uh, I ended up um, constantly using uh, cases of green tape um, because this trellising system is six feet high and to get from the fruiting line cordon all the way up here with only two wires in the middle meant that I had shoots that were creeping out from in between uh, out of control all the time and so you had to tie pieces of green tape to the chute and then tie them up to the top wire um, but now with this new system uh, I use less than two rolls of green tape a year in the Tempranillo vineyard in the back you can see more of a standard trellising system where you have the end posts tilted out to help reduce the strain on the post and the ground and then your first iron post and then you have your subsequent ones and in my case again I use the T-bars so what I'll do is I'll have again the water line the cordon and here because we're spur pruned you can see that the actual uh, cordon the old wood is tied to the cordon wire which is my heavy 12 gauge and then I'll have the first set of two second set of two and the widest set of two on top of that and again this seems to work best for me it uh, it certainly makes vineyard management a lot easier You might also ask, what orientation do I like to run uh, my lines? And uh, the answer to that is not really simple. Um, but I prefer, my philosophy is that uh, if your grapes are run in lines that uh, go north and south, then you can control the sun exposure in the morning by pulling leaves off near the fruit, just down low. You want to keep their... Uh, shade on top, but you can pull leaves from the uh, east side of the rows next to the fruit and you can help uh, the morning sun exposure I don't care for poisoning gophers uh, because I don't want poison in my ground um, They say it doesn't come up through the roots um, but I still, I just don't want poison in my, in my vineyard, so uh, I don't do that. I will show you, though, right now, uh, the solution to gophers. Owl boxes. Owls do a bang-up job of getting rid of all your gophers. Just put these up, uh, put a little bit of uh, wood chips inside, a little WD-40 around the top edges to keep the bees out and the owls just come and move right in on their own. As long as we're talking about uh, the trellising and vineyard installation in general, uh, let me give a shout out to uh, Davis Weather Stations. Um, I can't say enough about how good this piece of equipment works. Um, I have moisture sensors planted throughout the vineyards via radio link uh, I can transmit that data back up to the house. So I can get up in the morning, I can look at my computer display in the house, and uh, there's all my information. I know what the moisture is in the vineyard, so I know when to water. Normally what you want to do is you want to fill the soil profile with water, and then let it go ahead and, and dry out to a certain point. The uh, whites, I like to go to 100, and the reds, I take to 200 if I'm stressing them. You can also keep track of your rainfall, wind speed, temperatures. Uh, I can measure the not only the temperature in the vineyard, uh, even at the bottom of the vineyard uh, where it gets colder, but I can also measure the temperature in the ground as well. So um, again, um, highly recommended. Davis Weather Stations. Oh, by the way. I do not get paid. <laughs> I have not received anything from Davis. I just like their product. If there's anything that you'd like to know or help on your own grapes, uh, don't hesitate to call me uh, or get a hold of me. You can comment below. Mm -hmm.